Well, hey, what's up, fam? Um, just doing an update on my weight loss. Now, I have some good news and um, just some updates and stuff of what I've been going through since the last video uh, that I posted. So, um, the good news is I lost a pound, one pound. So, I'm at 195 now. Um, the bad news, well, not bad news, but just things that I've been going through is that um, I realized that maybe I'm depressed and haven't realized the fact that I've been depressed because one of the things that I noticed is that I'm an impulsive buyer and whenever I go through things um, it's like 10 times worse so does it make sense that you need to figure out what you're going through right and right now I don't know what I'm going through so I don't know how to fix the problem it's just something that just came over me this week and I am like so depressed um, in regards to like working out and stuff like that I worked out four four times this week and um, you know I love going to the gym I do but it's just that other 50% that I'm sabotaging myself with and that's the eating part and so I was at work and um, I was looking up at the sky and you know a thought just came in my mind like losing weight is so easy it is so easy to do but it's a commitment and dedication part that I'm realizing that I'm having a problem with it's it's the discipline part where you know I know that I shouldn't be eating stuff but I do it anyways because it's it's like a satisfying moment for me at that time and the commitment part like if I'm a commit I need to commit a hundred percent not just fifty percent of me working out and cooking healthy because after I cook and after I work out if I'm still just snacking on unnecessary stuff that's not healthy for me then I'm sabotaging myself and I'm making myself more depressed or whatever I'm going through you know magnified because it's me you know and um, it's hard it's hard to just keep on looking at yourself and being like I want to lose this weight and it's hard whenever you have those moments whenever you're excited about something and then you lose your interest just like that so that's that's what I came to the real, realization about this week um, another thing is with my impulsive buying now I know that that's something completely different and off topic of me losing weight but you know I noticed that this week I've been buying and spending money left and right. Um, some things, you know, are necessary, but a lot of them, a lot of the stuff that I bought wasn't necessary. Um, I went to the mall and I went to the coach store and I bought another coach purse, which you know wasn't necessary for me to do but it made me feel good at the time and then um, I bought some new shoes to work out in I bought some new workout clothes to work out in and uh, I bought a new scale I bought a new kitchen scale I bought a new pan set um, I don't know it's just even though if that stuff that I need I already have I already had a scale I already had you know a cooking scale I already had pots and pans I already have workout shoes you know you don't need to go out and buy workout clothes so 
Um, that's how I know I'm kind of just going through things again because I'm buying unnecessary stuff. And then in regards to my eating, um, I noticed that this week it was real hard for me to stay disciplined because if I had a sweet tooth, I would go out and I would get it. You know, if, if I had a taste for something, I would go out and get it like butter pecan um, ice cream or or zingers <laughs> you know and instead of well the butter pecan ice cream i just bought the pint the um, small one but as far as like chocolate and stuff like that went this week i was i was bad you know i could have always went to the corner store and i could have just got you know whatever size that they had but what did i do i went to walmart and you know, I bought the big box, not the economy size box, but just, you know, I bought a box of zingers. I bought two boxes of zingers and some zebra cakes. So, um, yeah, I noticed that I'm, I'm an emotional eater and an emotional shopper. And with those two issues, you know, it's bad. It's bad for me because... Like I said, I don't know what I'm going through this week. Um, another thing that I bought that I wanted to touch topics on is that I'm not sure if y'all seen it off of the doctors or Dr. Phil, but it's this new thing called the pink method. And what it is, it's like supposed to be specific for um, women. And it's a nutritional plan and basically like, DVDs and stuff like that to work out on. Basically, it's like if you was to see a Beachbody commercial, but it's just, you know, a pink method. I haven't seen any advertisement for it yet um, on television, but that's something that I bought. And, you know, with this pink method, I want it to be the last thing that I buy. Um, you know, I didn't need to purchase the extra gym membership. I didn't even need to purchase the first gym membership because, you know, even though if, like I said in a couple of videos ago that I have a gym with a big ass window, that's free to me. So, you know, I don't need to pay these um, gym memberships each and every month. I'll probably end, in, end up canceling them or something, but um, I don't want to be that person that keeps on buying health equipment or, you know, things that I think that would make my, me losing weight um, instant, because I know it's not going to be instant. It's just, you know, sometimes you just get tired of the weight, and uh that's that's the point that I'm at now. I'm just tired of the weight and it's just depressing me because I'm not committing myself. I'm not committing myself a hundred percent to what I know I need to do. I know I need to lose this weight, right? And um, so I was on YouTube last night or early this morning because I couldn't sleep and I just went and I YouTube the pink method and it looks like something that I'm interested in. Hopefully it's just not an interest at the moment, but like I said, I want this to be the last health thing that I buy. Um, I'll probably do some reviews. I bought it this morning and um, I should get it like in two days because I did the rush delivery. Um, yeah, so at the moment I'm excited about that, but I need to I need to figure out what I'm going through because it's it's hurting me in the long run, and um, I don't like this feeling, and I don't know what it is. So uh, that's basically it for this video. Um, I'm going to make another video probably 
Sunday, Monday, in regards to my weight loss challenge that's starting on February the 1st. And I really hope that y'all join. I really hope that y'all post a comment to that video. That will be the official video that I would want y'all to um, post or to comment on to let me know that you are entering in the video and basically what the three day um, sorry the 12 day mini day challenge is is that I want you to work out three days a week and um, for four weeks which equals up to 12 days I want you to post your current weight and your goal weight I want your goal weight to be realistic so like in the past if you haven't lost 10 pounds in a month um, I want you to be realistic on what your goal is going to be for for February because um, it's all about setting goals and reaching them that's the main thing that I want to get across with this challenge. So if your goal is to lose five pounds for February and keep it off for March, then let that be a realistic goal. So um, I want you to post your current weight, your goal weight, and um, how do you plan on uh, obtaining that that goal and stuff like that. Just you know, just basically what's your plan to work out. Um, I know that a lot of times people, they do uh, pictures and stuff like that. I, I would appreciate pictures, but it's not necessary. Uh, basically, it's a commitment test challenge thing that's going on. Um, I would want you to post at least once a week just to let me know how you're doing and any frustrations that you may be going through. And uh, I think that's it. That's it for this video. So keep in watch out for uh, the next video, which would be the official video either on Sunday or Monday. And I would want y'all to post that by February the 1st. So if y'all have any comments, questions, or anything like that, you know, just uh, leave them to this video and then uh, the next video I'll just respond to and let me know whether or not if, if you're going to join the challenge. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it for now. So y'all be happy, okay? All right, bye.